Hi, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. I hope you can join me today for some fun ways to junk journal. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. So in today's video on the left, I have a completed junk journal. I also have a May paper bag journal that I'm just getting started that I'd like to share with you. And just a couple quick updates. I have been doing the 100 day project. If you've been around the channel for a little bit, working in a grid journal, some mini journals, an altered book. And basically I've been trying to use up my scraps from collage, some watercolor offcuts. We are nearing day, I think 85 or 86. We're close to that couple more weeks of the 100 day project. So I look forward to sharing more about that in some upcoming videos. For today, I thought we would jump into a little bit of work in progress in the May journal and do a flip through of the completed journal for April, March and April, actually, two months. Before I do that though, I want to let you know that I do have the free printables up for the month of May. They're in my Kofi app and I will link them below. I hope you will enjoy them if you're interested in using them. And besides making printables and using printables in my junk journal, I usually take a bin and fill it with things that I commonly use. So you'll see a bunch of <laughs> random things. I like to do art doodling. I'll take napkins, painted paper, a little bit of ribbon or twine, and I stack them in a little box on my art table so when I'm ready to journal, I have some things to use. So that's a quick tip for you if you're newer to junk journaling. It kind of just helps you get started. This is a cereal bar box journal. I put a little washi tape on it, some tissue paper, some fibers, and a cute little flower image for the cover. Gonna do a flip through of the pages here that are a mix of printables, stenciling, little notes I jot across the month, some adorable Eric Carl animal cards that you'll see throughout. I use those as pockets. Other printables from other creators, that's Cat Hands seed packet there. I love junk journaling all of the different layers and bits from playing with art supplies to repurposing your packaging. A little collection of things and every time I go back into my junk journals, it sparks so many memories. Fun stickers little quotes and bits and pieces, those adorable little flowers. We had some celebrations over the last month and I got some cute little crafty type gifts and those flowers were part of that. More doodles and Eric Carl cards. I love the simple paper bag pullout. the fun of junk journaling are all these little interactive bits, the pockets. There's some more doodles I made on the left and was playing with different colors. And another great way to junk journal so many creators have prompts, and this is one from Cat Hand. She has mixed media morsels, layers of fun this year. So she gives you some prompts for the month, and this was scrape paint, add stickers, gift wrap, do some stars and some lines and make marks. That was a really enjoyable set of prompts, and I love just adding them to my, my junk journals. 
Also, there's junk journal January and July if you really want to get into a whole month of prompts. Lots of inspiration out there. So I love this little cutie. It is a little floppy as a no sew journal, but it's one of those things you can add pages to. You can, you can bulk them up and chunk them up, and I really enjoyed working in that one. So the next one is this May paper bag journal. Just getting started in this one. Did a little bit of doodling with a white gel pen. Got some sort of pocket system <laughs> planned, but not done yet on the top pocket. And then the inside I did already put in a pocket to hold some goodies. I tend to pile things in an interior pocket that I might want to use. This is some fun packaging from some recent gifts, some Tombow marker sets. Here's one actually that I most recently got. This was actually very inexpensive. It was on Amazon and it came with the water pen as well as an eraser. I think it has a graphite pen in it. So some new colors and the nice thing about the brush pens are that you can use them as markers or you can get a really nice watercolor effect with them. Adorable little paper clip there. And I'm storing these, not sure exactly how I'm gonna use them, but I love a good pocket. I'm gonna go in for a minute with one of the Tombow brush pens. And again, I find you can always get these on sale somewhere. Do some outlining of the May printable. So how is your journaling going? What is it that you enjoy? Do you have some favorites for your junk journals that are always go-tos? I really do enjoy that little box that I put by my art table so that when I'm ready to journal, I have some cute colors or bits and pieces that I've collected across the week to use. I find that really helps me get started on my page spreads. Gonna go in with this water brush a little. Soften the edges. Another magazine bit there. I would love to go walking on a beach right now, but <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm too busy at work. Oh yes, so this is something else I wanted to share with you. Another fun thing to do is take your own art and run a copy of it. This is a little notebook, kind of glue book that I did I think this is in 2022. They're all index cards. And check it out. I saw this little snail, ran a obviously much larger <laughs> print of it, and it became my cover page for May. So go back to your old journals or glue books and run a scan and you can use them in the latest project that you're working in. Tuck that away. This one I feel I'm just kind of digging into, but I really do enjoy the journaling across the week, usually about three or four times a week. This printable on the left that has the coffee mug is also one of Cat Hands from her Kofi app. A good old index card always does a good job for the notes of the week. I love that. I also got a beautiful little card, a uh, greeting card that was had some quilling on it. I put the packaging in. And this is my kind of system. I plop and pile and <laughs> layer in backgrounds, stick in things that I think might kind of go with one another. 
This I'm getting prepped for a little journaling spot and I have that cute stack of books that was from, actually from a postcard. And I think that will be my next spread. So again, I would love to know what you enjoy in your junk journals. Please feel free to download these from my Kofi app. I hope you enjoy them if you're interested. And thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.